I'm Mary Crowley. Welcome to Now is the Time. Today we have a great show because we're actually out here in Southern California at a tea party. We, there's several thousand people here that are basically coming out to express their opinions of they don't want to see high taxation, they don't want, they don't believe in the health care bill. There's a number of things that is happening in this country and they want to make a change by making their voice heard. You will hear on today's program many of their thoughts, their sentiments, and you'll hear some of the actual people who spoke as well on this version of Now is the Time. It's time to discover God's purpose for your life. Welcome to Now is the Time with Mary Crowley. My fellow American! <laughs> welcome, welcome to the Yorba Linda Tax Day Tea Party. Give yourselves a hand! My name is Tony Katz and uh, thrilled with the opportunity to be able to host here. I hosted in uh, Laguna Hills and now here at Twofer. It's a, it's a great day. It really is. A lot of wonderful people getting together, voicing their opinion, exercising their First right Amendment First Amendment rights. It's, it's great. Well, you're doing a fabulous job. And I live in Laguna Niguel. I wasn't at the Laguna Hills one, but why did you get involved with the Tea Party movement? Uh, I have been involved since the Rick Santilli rant, really, that for me was started at all in a group of us. As somebody mentioned, there were 44 original Tea Parties on February 27, 2009. I was one of the organizers and the host of the very first one here in, in Los Angeles, in Southern California, I believe Southern California, on the Santa Monica Pier. And uh, I'm involved because I was involved before this. When those first bailouts came out, when TARP came out under President Bush and Secretary Paulson, I was opposed to that. You cannot mortgage our children's future like this. There is not a need for this kind of spending. You don't have the ability to spend this much. The money doesn't come out of thin air. It comes on somebody's back. And that's the back of unborn children, my grandchildren, your children, grandchildren. Children, somebody else who's thinking about starting a family, those are the ones who will pay that debt because we're too afraid to deal with it right now. And I created a group then called No Bailouts. No Bailouts was a Ning community site and put up videos and got people who were Republicans and Democrats and liberals and conservatives were on political sides of the spectrum, opposites like you wouldn't believe. But we understood this was wrong. And that's where it started. And then when the opportunity came to do this tea party, I was thrilled to work with a good group of people who I had never met before. I didn't ask what color they were. I didn't what religion they were, I didn't ask what sex they were, it didn't matter. Did you believe in the Constitution, capitalism, fiscal responsibility, and smaller government? You do? Great, I'm with you. And that's how it started for me. Wow, you're making a difference, and more and more people are getting on the bandwagon and getting on all across the country because they're afraid of the freedoms that they're losing daily. One last soundbite. What else would you say to people watching that maybe thinks that the Tea Party movement is, is, a, is a crock, that it's just a bunch of far right-wing liberals, I mean, right-wing conservatives? Well, first of all, right-wing liberals, that's a great line. I'm going to have to steal that one of these days. Um, uh, stop listening to MSNBC. That's number one. Uh, number two is uh, this is not... Um, a bandwagon anymore. It's not about people saying, oh, this is cool, I'll go be a part of that. This is about people saying, wait a second, I'm not alone. Thousands of people are out here, and they're all realizing that they're not alone. There are people who think just like them, and all across America who think just like them. There have been tea parties in the UK. My goodness, how big is this going to go where we really create this kind of new citizen who is fully engaged in the process, who will keep their politicians and their elected officials to the fire. They they will focus on the issues and the events happening, and they will work every day to make sure they have a better country, just like the preamble of the Constitution says, to secure the blessings of liberty to ourselves and our posterity. We hand it down to the next generation exactly as we got it, and this generation will not give up on that quest. That's what you're seeing out there all around the country unbelievable to watch. I'm thrilled to just be this minute part of it. Well, thank you, and you're making a big difference, and you can see that you've done such a great job in hosting, but you really know how to speak to the people and to really, you know, bring forth all of what we're feeling here today. You're just doing a great job. I eat lettuce, not arugula, even though arugula, you know, sometimes tastes good, and, and that's an old joke from the Obama campaign. We are the people, and the people know how to speak to the people. It's the elitists who can't figure out that the people are on the same level as they are. That's the issue. What a wonderful way to explain what we're all doing here today and exactly how we all feel. We come at it from different points of view. We have different experiences. But in the end, we recognize who we are. We are citizens of the United States, and we are subjects of no one.
I'm here with with a, a great family here that I just met, and uh, they brought their three children. Aren't they cute? What are you guys' names? Eric, Kayla, Christina, and uh, what is your name? Dick. And your wife? Renee. Renee. Now, why did you come out to the tea party, and why did you bring your whole family? Well, we want to teach our children how to properly respond when the government's out of control, and that's what we think. The government's just taxing too much, building way too many programs, hiring too many employees, and the free market is what we need to have us live successful lives here. Yeah, and so why did you guys come out? Now, let me let me hear from you. You're holding the sign that says no more taxes. So uh, you probably don't like to pay taxes. You don't pay them yet, do you? No. <laughs> so what, what do you believe about it? Are you having fun here today? Yeah, I just think that they shouldn't make us pay money for no reason, and yeah. Yeah. And what about you, young man? You're wearing a, a military type jacket. Uh, same as her. <laughs> what? Same as her. You have the same, so you say ditto. Mm -hmm. Okay, and you're the mom. You look like you've done a great job with these kids, and you too, Dad. What would you say about why you came out today? Well, we just want um, to stop this health care bill. Government is too out of control in their spending. And they just need to listen to the people and hear what the people really want and what we really need in this country. We need them to stop taxing so much and help us to get back what we had, the freedoms we have. We want to keep those. We will take our country back. We'll restore what our forefathers have intended. Let freedom reign with fiscal responsibility, constitutionally limited government, <laughs> and free markets. Let freedom reign! Hi, I'm here with Jerry and Iris Hardig, and we, we saw their hats as they were walking by. And I heard that you made this, Iris, is that true? Mm -hmm. Yes, and I did. And so you've got tea bags all over these hats. Jerry, you, you look a little foolish walking around with tea bags, but you know, I admire your courage. But it, it gets the point across, that's what counts. All right, who here works for the state of California? <laughs> Deafening silence on that one. If you are not one of those people, do you realize that you receive almost zero benefit for your tax dollars here in the state of California? What is the sign? What is the sign saying that you're holding? This is another one my wife made up. It says, uh, which one are you drinking? Tea or Kool-Aid? <laughs> Kool-Aid or tea late? Well, anyway, why did you come to the Tea Party Movement? Why did you come here today? Well, we're here for our country. We're here for our freedom. We're here to support all the teabaggers here. Our forefathers understood the Constitution they drafted was merely a piece of paper, an inspired piece of paper, certainly. But they understood that without providing the people with the means to enforce the Bill of Rights and the entire Constitution, the words in that document were meaningless. Does that mean that we, the people, have the right to bear arms to protect our liberty? Careful. What is your name? Jeannie Gutierrez. And I like your shirt that says that you're an American patriot. Yes, I am. And what, what does a patriot mean to you? I believe in the Constitution, and I believe in small government, and I'm very concerned about where we're going. I'm concerned more for my daughter and my grandson than myself. Uh, I watch a lot on C-SPAN and I watch Fox News, and I watch MSNBC and CNN, and I see what's happening, and I'm very concerned. Yeah, and it's happening so quickly, so, but when you have a voice, and that's what, you're, you're, you're here today to make a statement, and you're one voice amongst many here that are basically expressing their concerns. Well, you are an American patriot. Thanks for coming. Why is there a Tea Party in America today? Because of the unrelenting tyranny of our federal government. So what are we going to do about it? Alfonso! Before we resort to arms, before we have to exercise our liberty teeth, we vote the bombs out. Anyway, I'm here with a couple beautiful young girls. They're holding signs. What did you guys come to the Tea Party today for? We came here to support um, the movement against Barack Obama, against his Democrat ideologies, against his hypocrisy, and all that's happened in the USA. And against high taxes. Definitely high taxes. It's tax day, and it's got to stop. So. And now, are you helping uh, 
this Deborah Polly running for city council? Um, yes, we are. She is running for re-election of the Villa Park City Council. Yes. Yeah, and, and you must. She must be. You must like her. She must be a conservative. Is that correct? Yes, conservative, and she helps with the youth associates, the OC youth associates that we're a part of, and it's great. Conservative. She's a wonderful lady. Yeah. Well, how how old are you guys? I am 15. 15. And you go to school where? Kenyon High School in Anaheim Hills. Same. The government has been turning up the heat on hardworking, law-abiding citizens, the contributors to our society, to the point where we are finally boiling mad. But well, you know what? That's just fine with me. Because it takes boiling water to brew tea. <laughs> Now, I just heard you speak, and you did an awesome job. What, what is your name? Deborah Pauly. And you hold what position in the city council? I'm, I'm just a councilwoman in the city, and I do like to use the word woman. I'm not into the gender-neutral vernacular that's been forced down our throats by the uh, politically correct that's been leading us down a path to destruction. Now, why did you get involved in the Tea Party movement? Well, it really was put on my heart a few years ago that uh, the elected officials that were in office were had completely lost track of what government was actually supposed to be doing. Um, they've, they've outreached what they're supposed to be doing. They're, they are only supposed to be doing three things, as I have identified it in the Book of Romans. That I call them the three Ps. They're supposed to be protecting life and property. They are supposed to be punishing uh, lawbreakers and those that seek to do harm to uh, good, good citizens. And they're supposed to be promoting, not providing, but promoting the general welfare. And anything beyond that, government shouldn't be doing. But I saw us involved in all kinds of things, and, and the Tea Party has actually identified that. The reason that they are taxing us so much, and that's what the Tea Party movement is actually about, the Tea Party is taxed enough already. The reason government is overtaxing us is because they are overextending what they should actually be doing, what government should be doing. That's how I got involved. I want to know how many of you served in the military, any branch at any time. Raise your hand. Thank you so much. When you entered the military, you took an oath of office. You raised your right hand and you swore to protect and defend the Constitution of the United States of America against all enemies, foreign and domestic. I want to tell you something. There is no expiration date on that oath. I took that oath when I joined the Air Force. I took it again when I became a city councilwoman. But never, never ever in my wildest dreams did I honestly think I would have to defend my constitution against my own president against my own government. Did you ever think that would happen? Now, you had just mentioned to me that you want to run in the future for, for another office, a higher office. And I had just been talking to people, uh, Ashley, at the outtake, uh, about people getting involved in government, that they have to let their voice be known. If they're not happy, then get involved. What office are you thinking about running for in the future? Well, you know what? God will actually reveal that to me, and that will be a choice of the people. They will tell me what it is they would like to see me do, and I, I tend to listen to that. That's how I actually ran for Villa Park City Council, was the people told me. I had fought um, a property tax increase and was successful and the people said we want you to run for city council because they knew that I had saved them a lot of money uh, every year on their property taxes so it will it will be obvious to me what I should be doing there are many options it could be a board of supervisors for the third district that seat will be vacant in 2012 it could very well be the assembly on 2014 my assemblyman turns out and I really like my assemblyman but I would be a nice follow-on to him it, it will reveal itself